In Rotation 1, player positioning is as follows. The setter in Zone 1, followed by the H1, M2, Opposite, H2, and M1. The libero replaces the back row middle blocker. In Serve Receive, Rotation 1 provides more options than any other rotation. The most traditional formation has the H1 stepping back and passing in Zone 1. She will be hitting a red. The opposite will hit a go, and the middle will hit a gap or a quick. When looking at overlap rules, this formation is legal as long as the setter remains behind the H1 until the ball is served. The opposite must be to the left of the M2 when the ball is served. Here's what it looks like. Another common Rotation 1 formation is called a stack. All the offensive players will stack on the left side of the court. The H1 passes in zone 5 and hits a go. Then the combination of the opposite and the middle will hit a middle attack and a slide. Depending on the offensive strengths of these two players, one of them will hit out of the middle and the other will hit a slide. When looking at these overlap rules, the formation is legal, but it's important to remember that the setter still has to be behind the H1, even though they are across the court from each other. The M2 must be to the left of the H1, and the opposite must be to the left of the M2. So all three of these players along the left sideline need to be aware of that. Here is what a stack formation looks like. Another Rotation 1 formation option allows the setter to step up and stand close to the net behind the H1. Obviously this means the H1 can't pass, so the opposite will step back and pass from zone 5. The H1 will hit a red, the opposite will hit a go, with the middle hitting a middle attack. When looking at the overlap rules, this formation is legal, but with the opposite now passing, she must remain in front of the H2, even though they're both passers. The M2 must also remember to stay to the right of the passing opposite. The setter can move up as close to the net as the H1, as long as she stays behind the H1. Here is what it looks like. Our next part of this series, we'll look at Rotation 2.